I want to talk about the assignment plan for Jefferson County Public School System, JCPS schools. So JCPS, there was a uh, the Supreme Court was supposed to rule whether or not the assignment plan is acceptable. Here's an article from WDRB.com. It says, no ruling from the Supreme Court yet on JCPS assignment plan today. Louisville, Kentucky. The Kentucky Supreme Court did not issue an opinion today on a lawsuit filed by local attorneys on behalf of parents of JCPS students. The lawsuit says students should be able to attend neighborhood schools. So they're trying to undo Brown versus Board of Education, Plessy versus Ferguson, 1898, maybe 96. Plessy versus Ferguson said separate but equal. Brown versus Board of Education, 1954, says that separate is an equal. Integration. Get integration. So 1954 is when Louisville, uh, the United States told Louisville you got to integrate. It took Louisville 21 years to integrate, 1975. Now fast forward to 2008, 2010, Supreme Court, Jefferson County Public Schools, Meredith v. Jefferson County Public School, uh, Public Schools, I think it's Meredith, says that you cannot base anything on race. So the assignment plan had, was how they had integrated. Now they should do it by economic policy, and I think that's what they're doing. If the assignment plan is by economics, and that is okay, but the uh, neighborhood schools, what will happen is the property taxes will pay for the local schools, and the rich areas will have rich schools, and the poor areas will have poor schools. It's not fair. It should be fair. So, it's bullshit. You also need diversity. You can't just be going to school with one group of people and thinking you're going to well-rounded education. And you also got a ton of people that's running for office, a ton of people that's running for office, and they're sitting there saying, talking shit about the neighborhood schools. They're sitting there saying that the neighborhood schools are better. Lots of people that's running for the uh, Board of Education elections. So, neighborhood schools, the next opportunity for a ruling will come in September when the court meets again. It's August, September, so in a couple of days, it's going to be September, so in the next 30 days, this lawsuit's going to come down. JCPS officials have maintained that letting students attend the school closest to their home would return the community to segregation. The court heard arguments from both sides in April, but the issue really boils down to one thing, what the word enroll means. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. What enroll means, it means to fucking go to the fucking school. Fuck you. Y'all wanted to squab over some fucking stupid definition, you fucking dicks. Went to three different dictionary definitions. They went to Black's Law Dictionary, Oxford English Dictionary, or the Merriam-Webster, and they tell us that the words enroll and attend mean the same thing. Enroll and attend mean the same thing. It's the same fucking thing. Enroll, attend, you're going to, the, you're going to that school. Give me a break. That's so stupid. The plaintiff's attorney, Ted Gordon, argued that it's clear what the legislature intended. The common sense meaning applicable here is that enroll, there's no in, there's no at. Enroll in that school is the contemplation that these children go to the school where they enroll. School district supporters wonder dire consequences should they lose. The schools in Jefferson County will resegregate. So Louisville NAACP President Raul Cunningham in April. There's no doubt. If you go back to a neighborhood concept of schools, there's no question. The schools will resegregate. Current Journal again says I got one article left. They've been threatening that for a while. <laughs> I don't know if their cookies are just fucked up or maybe my blocker is working well. Or maybe that's what they do. Some articles they block and other ones they don't. August 23rd. Six days ago, no J JCPS neighborhood school ruling today. They know it's going to be a political issue if they rule it. They know it is. There's no ruling today in the Jefferson County Public Schools lawsuit to determine whether parents have a guaranteed right to send their children to the school closest to their home. The Kentucky Supreme Court didn't include the lawsuit amongst its batch of opinions. They don't have to go to the school closest to them. It's guaranteed education. So they have to go to school, but not to the one that's closest to them. That's... Kentucky Supreme Court didn't include the lawsuit amongst its batch of opinions. Released 10 a.m. The next ruling date is set for September 20th. So in about... A little over three weeks, a little over three weeks, we're going to see if Kentucky's going to resegregate. We're going to go back to fucking Jim Crow standards. We're going to go back to Plessy versus Ferguson and undo over a hundred years of not peaceful integration, but integration nonetheless in our school systems.
I grew up, I mean, I feel like our generation grew up around each other. We ain't like the older generation. Several parents filed suit against the JCPS student assignment plan after they said their children were denied admittance into their neighborhood school. The Kentucky Appeals Court has already sided with the parents. And if the Supreme Court concurs, it could mean the end of JCPS desegregation plan, which includes busing kids to keep classrooms integrated. At issue is a state law that says within the appropriate school district attendance area, parents or legal guardians shall be permitted to enroll their children in the public school nearest their home. The parents suing the district contend that their term enroll also means the children have a right to attend the closest neighborhood school. But Brian Leap, an attorney for the district, argued that the legislator removed the word attend from the statute in 1990 to ensure the districts are not allowed to make assignment decisions, not as Gordon has contended to clean up redundant language. There's no legislative record detailing the intent of the change, but attorneys from both sides have agreed that the original law was passed in the 1970s as an attempt to thwart federal desegregation in Jefferson County. It was ruled unconstitutional while a decree was in place, but that decree was lifted in 2000. After the suit was brought in 2010, Jefferson Circuit Judge Irv Mays dismissed it, ruling that state law allows children to register with the district at the nearest school but doesn't guarantee, guarantee that they attend it. Mays said state law clearly reserves for school boards the right to determine what schools the students within the district attend. The 2-1 Appellate Court decision, appellate Appellate, appellate, appellate court decision last year overturned Mays' decision holding that the law does entitle the student to attend that school. The ruling which came after a harsh questioning of the district during which one judge derided voluntary integration as a failed social experiment also ordered the district to develop a new assignment system for the 2012-2013 school year. When the case was argued before the state's highest court in April, the district argued that a right to attend the nearest school would be difficult, if not impossible, to implement, with Leap saying that because where buildings are and populations aren't, everyone can't attend the closest school. Jefferson County Teachers Association, so it's not even fucking possible. Fuck your lawsuits, you fucking dicks. You fucking racist dickheads, you fucking segregationist. The Jefferson County Teachers Association, the League of Women Voters, the Kentucky School Board Association, Fayette County Schools, and a handful of parents all joined in Mickus briefs on behalf of the school system. They argued that giving parents a right to attend the closest school would put unreasonable burdens on the districts. They said elected school boards should be able to make to assignment decisions. School boards is where the decisions should be made. And some groups like the NAACP of Louisville argued that because local housing patterns remain economically and racially segregated in many areas, such a ruling would resegregate schools. The impending high court decision marks the latest skirmish in a long-running battle over student assignment that dates back for decades. The school board has been making changes and adjustments to its student assignment plan since 2007 when the U.S. Supreme Court struck down the district's decades-old desegregation policy saying it relied, relied too heavily on individual students' race when assigning them to schools. The board adopted a new plan in 2008 that looked at race, income, and education levels of students' neighborhoods when assigning children to schools. But it spent the past four years making changes to that plan after hearing numerous complaints from parents over long bus rides and lack of access to neighborhood schools. <coughs> Student assignment has become an increasingly polarizing issue as well as a political one. Several state politicians have incorporated it into their campaigns, including last year's Republican gubernatorial candidate, Senator David Williams. New version of the district student assignment plan takes effect in elementary schools this fall. The new system classifies the district's 570 census areas using three categories based on income, minority population, and average adult education. Earlier this year, the board changed the plan again, voting to shake up the elementary clusters to further reduce the time students spend on the buses. The latest change raises the number of elementary clusters for the 2013-14 school year from 6 to 13, but also curtails the number of schools parents can choose from, roughly 14 schools per cluster to 6 each. Some desegregation advocates fear that it could undermine the district's integration efforts, particularly in western Louisville, by giving minority and low-income families fewer school choices. Which it will do. That's exactly what the fuck it'll do. We're going backwards, Kentucky. We already fucking won the racist, most backwards, uneducated, sickest, fattest, most cancerous, toothless, meth-headiest, lack of reading illiterate states in the country. We really want to go and be the first state to Go back to segregation. Go back to segra fucking gation. We can we can do we can do better, Kentucky. Come on, come on now. Jefferson County board candidates say student summit plan will lead election debate.
It's whas11.com. So channel 11, whas. Louisville, Kentucky, Tuesday's first day of classes in Jefferson County Public Schools comes in mid upheaval within the Board of Education and continues scrutiny of the district's controversial student assignment plan. The decision by three school board members not to seek re-election leaves three open seats on the ballot this November. The four other seats are not up for re-election this year. <coughs> change in leadership could prompt changes to JCPS policies. The five candidates vying for the seat that is held by Larry Hugo in District 7 told WHAS News that they expect the student assignment plan to be a major issue in the election and that the district's transportation performance on the first day of school may set the tone for the debate of the plan. I think definitely it's going to be a huge impact on the debate, said Christopher Fell. Cr Christopher Fell, a JCPS parent who entered the race after suing the school district when his daughter was denied admission to the elementary school nearest their home. So Christopher Fell is for segregation. He is for going back to neighborhood schools, back to Plessy vs. Ferguson, black to... Jim Crow, back to before Reconstruction, he wants to go back, all the way back to the very beginning when black and white first began during the racialization of America. The first day of school could be a very important one, agreed Chris Brady among District 7 parent and candidate. I think we saw that in 2010 with Sheldon Berman. We could certainly see that again with the upcoming day, how smoothly it goes. Busing problems the first day of school in 2010 increased pressure on then Superintendent Shelton Berman, who later told WHAS 11 that transportation delays that day ultimately were a factor in the school board decided not to renew his contract. The first day of school is very important politically, acknowledged Marty Bell, a former JCPS administrator who is also running for Hugo's, Hugo's seat. But more important, it's important to 100 plus 1,000 kids. A JCPS spokesman said Superintendent Donna Hargens would not comment on the political implications of the first day of school. The spokesman continued that problems on the first day of school in 2010 were not a reflection of the student assignment policy, but of the job performance of those responsible for carrying out the busing plan. Two elementary school principals were suspended in 2010 after the district concluded they had not adequately prepared for the first day of school and that their school's delays triggered delays throughout the system. Two elementary school principals were fired. Student assignment and bus ride time are linked, Brady said. One of the things that 13 cluster assignment plan will do is reduce the ride time. The 2013 school district plans to implement a modified student assignment plan that uses 13 rather than six clusters. Student assignment plan is put into place four years ago. The one's currently under court litigation. It's not a plan that should have been implemented, said Bell, Chris Bell, the white supremacist who was a JCPS administrator. When that decision was made, it was too far reaching when it really did. What it really did was recreate busing as an issue other than student assignment. Both Bell and Brady said that the 13 cluster plan should be given a chance, yet the three other candidates tout neighborhood schools. Wait, so Bell and Brady's against neighborhood schools? Okay, I'm going to have to take that back. Somebody's fucking racist in this fucking plan. Might be Jonathan Robertson. He says, I'm for neighborhood schools. If that's what's best for your child. Parents have a choice. Everybody thinks shipping kids across town is ridiculous. JCPS veteran James Sexton said the student assignment plan should be replaced by a neighborhood school's plan. Sexton is now principal at Jefferson High School. After 43 years with JCPS, the former Eastern High and Jefferson Town High principal, under the current system, many elementary students and their parents are scared to death. And schools should not be scary, said Sexton. Sexton said the district should plan more strategically as housing development increases in District 7, building schools where people live rather than bus them to an empty desk 40 minutes away. After Fell claimed in WHAS's 11 6 p.m. report on Monday that neighborhood school conversion would save the district more than $100 million per year, JCPS spokesman counted the entire transportation budget as around $60 million. <laughs> yeah, Fell, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't think anybody knows. It's equally, it's vitally important to get things on the right on the first day. We put a preparation into that. Um, blah, 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 blah. Other shit. So... Come on, come on, Louisville. Come on, Kentucky. We don't want to fucking go backwards anymore, do we? Number one for cancer, number one for child abuse, number one for animal abuse, number one for high prison rates and cancer and uh, air pollution. We're dying. We have a high child mortality rate. Our kids are getting beat up until they die. We're number one for child deaths and child abuse cases.
We can do better than this, Kentucky. Come on, Kentucky. Let's go, Louisville. Let's go, Hueyville. Fuck Louisville. It's Hueyville. Like Huey Newtonville. Black Power Revolutionville. Viva la Revolution. Jefferson County.